Welcome to Reinvented Life Club and being hosted and joining me is Kakoma Chinyama Reinvented. Well, it's Kakoma Chinyama, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, and I'm saying being hosted because um, I'm new on the platform and my names are Nkanga Kalolo Joseph Ryan. And today we'll talk about a couple of things, like so many things. Yeah, and so many things. Yeah, and wow, how are you my brother? How, how right. is everything? And, He's a dear brother to me. is great. And he's a dear brother to mm. my... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you understand that. Yeah, so just to start with, there's really an incident. If others have been following, so um, something really happens to Kakoma and it was something that was uh, really heart touching. My heart was really moved and those are moments of uh, really reflection. Our dear brother was attacked just some yeah. time back and I'd love him to share with us his experience through that journey. Okay. Yeah, so may you please share with us just your experience. How are those moments? Because when I just narratively, just the story, yeah. just imagining someone walking behind you and hmm, <laughs> he struggles you. It's and, dramatic. <laughs> yeah, like seriously. Imagine that situation and what are all your thoughts? Because personally, I'm putting myself in that situation and I'm yeah. seeing someone struggling with me and... <sighs> I think you're seeing yourself seated. Uh, <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, so maybe share with us how um, the experience was, how the procedure of healing was and how God comforted you through that situation. Wow, thank you, man. I've been here like for almost close to two years and I've only been hearing stories of people getting attacked people's phones being snatched. It's some other experiences that I've had, not in my personal life, but through watching on TV, you know, people getting attacked. And sometimes you listen to such stories or watch the movies and you'll be like, yeah. how can these guys actually let themselves be attacked and be beaten in this way and be stolen from? Sometimes it seems so silly and sometimes you look at it and you think, wow, if it were me, I'll do this, I'll do this, and I'll do this. Yeah. But in that moment, I realized how hopeless really a person can be. Because, first of all, it was something unexpected. Where somebody is coming in front of you in form of a beggar, and you want to sympathize with that person, and you do not expect and suspect a beggar to be a thief. So in that moment, as I'm talking to that person, and another one comes behind me now and strangles me, lifts me up, like they watch too much wrestling, so they come and <laughs> try to strangle me like, you know, this choke slam kind of thing. So by then now, my body is no longer on the ground, I'm suspended in the air, I'm helpless. I feel like perhaps I'm being crucified, but anyway, yeah. But, <laughs> yeah, so, in that moment, I didn't know what to think. I was so helpless, I thought I was going to die. And it was a very emotional and psychological experience. Apart from the fact that my phone was stolen and my wallet was gone, apart from me thinking, how am I going to get home? Because it was late towards midnight. And afterwards, uh, some strangers come to my aid and they helped me find a taxi. But in that moment, I had become a beggar because I had to find transport money to go back. Even the smallest of coins, in that moment, it had so much value. And from that experience, I only learned about the grace of God. Because those people helped me sacrificially. They helped me from their own compassion. And I can say their help was redemptive. It was also restorative because they redeemed me from my brokenness, brokenness and they restored me by giving me that money to my original condition. So I looked at it and I saw, wow, this is what God has done through Jesus Christ for us. It was sacrificial just from his own love, his own compassion due to our condition. And he's redeemed us and he's restored us to who we truly are as human beings in Christ. Amen. Amen. So that was what I learned from that experience and due to friends like Kalolo and others, I've been able to pick up and even just talk about this experience like this. And it's awesome. So, so much sense of humor. <laughs> so much seriousness. Yeah. Wow, that's some insight and really just looking at the brothers 
experience it reminds me of so 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 many things imagine imagine just a moment he's being strangled and everything and how he had felt just hopeless mm -hmm. and most of the time like he has explained looking at god's grace you know from such situations it's really difficult for us to learn god's grace but we forget that when we were helpless at the time we were at our weakest point what did god do he demonstrated his love through christ jesus he sent christ jesus who died on the cross for something he did not deserve exactly. and that's an expression of his his love unto us so it's really just an encouragement for me i remember one verse i really yeah. like in particular it's found in second corinthians so it really reminds me of this experience in second corinthians chapter 1 verse 4 saying who comforts us through our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort ourselves have received them from god wow just imagine such a situation look at the brother's reaction he's been comforted he remembers what god actually did for him he remembers the expression of god's grace wow. like wow like he remembered that's something or just an insight of how someone can comprehend the cross of Jesus Christ to say every situation we go through we can learn something of God's grace mm -hmm. and here I'm encouraged personally like, thank wow. you bro thank I'm you. really encouraged <laughs> thank you man I'm, I'm encouraging you that your reaction many will look at it and will give glory to God Amen Amen, Amen. and that's just uh, something that's really really delightful to, to see, to observe, and to learn from. And yeah, I'm just going to something that's a bit different. Mm -hmm. um, I observe people go through different seasons. Yeah. Encouragements to someone who's going through a certain season, maybe a season where they feel this little fruit that is being bred huh, mm -hmm. in their life, maybe a season that's a season of depression, a season of uh, rejection, and different types of seasons. Maybe someone feels as if have been a failure they're not progressing yeah. everything they try does not actually work, work. Yeah. you know that for example students come to foreign lands to study mm -hmm. and we see examples of others who actually succeed yeah. but we see examples of others who have so many problems of yeah. succeeding like some of us have been through such paths so yeah. what encouragement or what can you say about them, such particular seasons in someone's life wow that's that's a very interesting question. I remember myself yeah. in my first academic year, I, had, I was going through a very tough time just choosing what kind of course I'm going to study. And even after I had gotten the course, starting to study, you know, it was very hard. It was very hard. And sometimes I had so much expectations for myself. And through those expectations, when I saw that Drawing closer to those expectations was even harder than I thought. I even became more discouraged and more depressed. And from those experiences, I've come to learn that sometimes our own unfortunate situations come from our own expectations. And if we are to have more realistic expectations, you find that we we'll have more realistic views of how things are supposed to be but also coming from coming to to the aspect of learning from what we go through sometimes we cannot control the circumstances that happen to us but we can always control how we react remember there's one person that said Bet between a stimulus and the response there is always a fragment of choice so we can always choose how we react to certain circumstances but there are also certain circumstances that just seem beyond our control you know and in such circumstances what are we to do we just go down our knees and pray to our comforter and we find that in those moments we receive just some form of joy that is just so awesome and sometimes you cannot even explain and sometimes god has put people around us people that can actually comfort us mm -hmm. i think the the biggest problem we may ever make sometimes is to try to work things out on our own 
And when we try to work things on our own, we find that sometimes we are just so inadequate. And that's when you realize that, okay, maybe I can talk to a neighbor. And when you talk to your neighbor, you find that that neighbor has been through a particular situation and they have been able to overcome and they help you through also. You see that? So, yeah, if I can tell you something, I can tell you that I do not know what you are going through. I don't know what season that you are going through right now. I don't know what, if it is a failure. I don't know if it is perhaps support you are looking for. I don't know if it is perhaps a loved one that you have lost. I don't know if it is perhaps finances that you are looking for. First in conclusion, from the exhortation that our brother has given us, Okoma, I'd just like to add on one thing, just to say, having the right vision is also important. Seeing things as God sees them. Like for example, James writes to say, consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. Perseverance must finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. If any of you lacks wisdom, then you should ask God. Wow. So each and every trial that we go through, we can look at them from such a perspective to say it's up for my maturity in Christ huh? Jesus. Exactly. And that's the most important thing because the word of God says a non-believers or anyone will look at you and will give glory. Why? Mm -hmm. To who? Firstly to God. Why? Because of your response to whatever trial. So be encouraged. Hold on. Trust Him and always follow the path He's leading you. Trust Christ Jesus, trust, trust God, and uh, allow the Holy Spirit to lead you. Yeah, so, just the last words from our brother Kakoma. Actually, we're going to say them together. Remember, Remember to, to subscribe, subscribe to, to the YouTube. channel. Yes. And, uh, See you guys next time. It's one of the same thing. <laughs> channel, YouTube. Yeah. Facebook. Yeah. And Green Yes.